Welcome back, True Seeker. Real quick live stream, because the Final Four is about to get underway, I imagine a lot of your friends and family will be watching this today. Maybe you'll be with them, and maybe you're trying to persuade them to look at this knowledge of gematria so they can start to truly see how the world around them, especially that comes through the television, is very much on a script. And um, one of the big announcements right before the Final Four gets underway is Duke's star forward, Wendell Moore. He has won what is known as the Julius Irving Small Forward of the Year Award. And, of course, Julius Irving, very famous basketball player, Dr. J. But uh, take a look at this. The man who's won the award, Wendell Horace Moore Jr., born September 18, 2001, just 20 years old right now, he wins this award today, Saturday, April 2nd, exactly 169 days before his birthday. And as you can see, just as he's referred to, Wendell Moore Jr. His name in Gematria, Wendell Moore Jr. Just very simple. Taking the alphabetic order and turning the letters into a numbered sequence. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4, so on. Wendell Moore Jr. equals 169. And this is fascinating because not only is the Gematria perfect with his name, synced up with his birthday, which is what we see day after day in the world of rigged entertainment. And just to, for the person who goes, well, how could this possibly be? How could this be rigged? Again, some of these guys are being born and bred to be and birthed ritualistically, and their lives are not like you or, or mine, you know? Uh, for all of us who grew up living the American dream, dribbling around a basketball, practicing all days of the hour, you know, we thought everybody had a fair shot at the sport. It's not to say hard work can't get you there, but some of these guys have a huge advantage because they're literally being born and bred to be with a plan script, to be the plan star, to be the... Julius Irving Small Forward Award winner. And that's why day after day, season after season, college sport after college sport, pro sport after pro sport, these things line up like this every single day. But also, the 169, that has a square root of 13. And who's his coach? Coach K, who just made it to his record 13th Final Four. And of course, he did that 41 days after his own birthday. That was Coach K, born February 13th advanced on the 85th day of the year to the final four 41 days after his birthday which is the 13th prime number whereas 169 has a square root of 13 and of course in that same cipher if you write out coach k c's the third letter o's the 15th a's the first c's the third h is the eighth k's the 11th coach k you add it up it's 41 coach is 30 k is 11 41 if you write out duke d's the fourth letter use the 21st k is the 11th e's the fifth duke also 41 41, the 13th prime. So, uh, again, what else is interesting is the final four. It's about today and it's about Monday, which will be 167 days before Wendell Moore's upcoming birthday. And again, what award did he just win? He just won this Julius Irving Award. Julius Irving is 167. Now, with regards to prime numbers, 167 is the 39th prime number. And today's award comes 39 days after Julius Irving's February 22nd birthday. And, of course, 39 is a number we talk about a lot with Duke. And um, years ago, when Zion Williamson was deciding what college he was going to get to, it was a big 39 ritual, and we predicted it would be Duke, which paid odds. And, again, that's the value of this knowledge. It allows you to accurately – you can't nail everything, but, again, you talk to gamblers in this world, they lose money. They're addicted to gambling. They like to gamble. They love it when they win, but they mostly lose. And again, you talk to people in this community with this knowledge, they mostly win. There are some people that still lose with this knowledge. And again, that's not, that's, that's just like, you know, the tool can get the job done, but some people just, you know, they can't wield any tool. But anyhow, this knowledge gives you a huge edge on the world of rig sports because it's scripted like this day after day. It's why we just went perfect in the Elite Eight. And it's why we've dominated the tournament again, as we've done every year with this knowledge. But anyway, when you use the rules of numerology, you take the alphabetic order and the rules of numerology. Blue Devils is 39. And again, this number comes up for Duke a lot. The man who's won the award, Wendell Moore Jr., he plays for the Duke Blue Devils. And again, you just got to say, what are the odds of all this? Julius Irving, 167, the 39th prime, the award 39 days after his day, birthday for a member of the Blue Devils. Again, these are patterns we talk about year after year. And here's 167, the 39th prime number. Keep in mind, just days ago, big news in the NFL. They changed their overtime rule. 
for the playoffs. And now they've set up the narrative to eventually change it for the regular season too. But notice, from the last playoff game of this NFL season, the Super Bowl, in L.A., the 213 area code on the date February 13th, 2-1-3, where you had the first ever Monday night football game, which the Rams won before they won the Super Bowl. And when you read out Monday night football, it equals 213, that most simple cipher. But notice, from the last day of the, the NFL season, the last day of the playoffs, the Super Bowl, to the rule change on March 29th for overtime was 44 days. And you might recall the first ever Super Bowl that went to overtime. It was the Falcons and the Patriots with the big Tom Brady comeback, Super Bowl 51. That was uh, hosted by the Houston Texans, which equals 51. But that was the first Super Bowl in a string of Super Bowls on a 44-day numerology, and we predicted that that would be the first ever Super Bowl to go to overtime. And granted, I did think that this year's Super Bowl would go to overtime as well, and it didn't. But here's the thing. When, when the Super Bowl went to overtime for the first time ever, it paid 20 to 1. There's only been two times in my life where I thought the Super Bowl would go to overtime. And again, let's just say you'd bet $100 both times, you'd be up $1,900. So again, it doesn't matter if you only went 50-50 on your prediction when the odds were 20 to 1 for it to hit. This year, it only paid 12 to 1, and it came close. It's not like the prediction was way off. But anyway, the point is, overtime in 44. This is the exact pattern we knew to make the prediction by the year we won. And you got to say, what are the odds now, years later, after Super Bowl 56, 44 days after the Super Bowl, they changed the overtime rule. But that's not all. Who did they change the overtime rule because of? You could argue Patrick Mahomes because the reason for the rule change was what happened with Patrick Mahomes went right down the field in the comeback game against the Buffalo Bills. And notice, from Patrick Mahomes' birthday to the rule change on March 29th, which was 44 days after the Super Bowl, that was 193 days after his birthday, which is the 44th prime number. And then the other thing is, the number we talk about a lot with Patrick Mahomes when we decode sports is 62. This man has a lot of 62 rituals that happen with him. And the rule change came on 29 slash 3, where 293 is the 62nd prime number. So again, 44 days after the Super Bowl, 193 days after Mahomes' birthday, who's the center of the rule change in terms of what happened, the 44th prime, and then again on this perfect day that's also connected to Mahomes. And... um Funny enough, the other 62 team in the league is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and that's who Brady plays for right now, the one quarterback who has gone to overtime and won in a Super Bowl, defeating Matt Ryan, which is the team from Georgia. And and Georgia, by the way, equals 44 in the most pure cipher. Before that season began, we thought that in the NFC, either the Packers or Falcons would make it to the Super Bowl. The NFC championship that year was Packers versus Falcons, and the winning score was 44 points. And, um, again, just, you know, this is what we document year after year. If you write out overtime rule, happen to notice it's 64, like Kansas City Chiefs, who Mahomes plays for, who was at the center of the controversy when, again, they went right down the field and defeated Josh Allen in the Bills. And, by the way, the surname Allen is also 44 in the most simple cipher, the other quarterback involved in the ritual. I think there's a piece of this that I'm not grasping right now because this ritual came 65 days after the game that was the dispute, which was January 23rd, Chiefs over Bills, and it came on Josh Allen's 313th day of his age, which is the 65th prime number. So somewhere in here, 65. I I, I mean, I have theories, but again, there's probably a, a... Probably whatever that 65 piece is, is where the next part of this scripted story will be with the NFL, possibly as soon as next year's NFL playoffs. And, um, or, or even in this regular season, because, you know, they're going to be saying, well, why do it for just the playoffs? Why not do it for the regular season too? Because you got to win in the regular season to make it to the playoffs. And again, I, I, I think they do these things just to keep the ongoing narrative. And so there can be something new each season. Remember the year they moved the touchback from 20 yards to 25 yards was the year of the 97th NFL season, which is the 25th prime. And that ended up being the year where the Super Bowl went to overtime on February 5th, 2 slash 5. And Falcons 25 gave up a 25-point lead going to overtime where Brady eventually won. And that day can also be written 5-2 slash and Brady became 5-2 and in Super Bowls. But um, just to remind, from your sports leagues, college and pro, to your federal government, um, 
the rituals are all along the same lines. Like we were saying, that was on 29 slash 3, like 293, the 62nd prime, a number connected to Patrick Mahomes' career. But remember what the federal government did that day on 29 slash 3. They signed the anti lynching bill. And again, Lynch is 62, and they did it for, they did it while Biden's president, who used to be the VP to Obama, who had the Attorney General Loretta Lynch, who's 62 years old at the time of the ritual. Again, 293, the 62nd prime, and the most simple cipher, Lynch 62. When you run the alphabetic order in reverse with numerology, anti lynching is 62. But um, again, just to remind the other part of that, that was signed off on March 29th. 129 days after Biden's birthday, it was the Emmett Till anti-lynching bill, Emmett Till 129. It was 129 days before Obama's upcoming birthday. Again, they used to be the presidential ticket back when Loretta Lynch was the attorney general. And uh, Kayla made that observation as well as the fact that Emmett Till... And by the way, Kayla used to be a big sports fan. She was looking to see if sports might be rigged. She found my work. She tried it out for herself. And she said, wow, look at all this stuff. I'm even seeing it in my favorite WNBA league. And she's been helping the community ever since. And so has all the other people who've come here, you know, that, that realize this isn't a joke and just apply the knowledge and see that day after day, it's this exact way as advertised. You know, there's nothing false about what I've ever said about this work. Every day you can use this knowledge to decode the headlines. And some days it's more obvious than others. April Fool's Day yesterday, 4-1. The word joke equals 41 in the most simple cipher. Yesterday, CNN All Day said that in Ukraine, they're up to 4,100,000 refugees on 4-1. Anyway, talk about a joke. But again, Kayla caught that Emmett Till, he was supposedly lynched for whistling at a white woman. And the day he whistled at her was August 24th, which is the day leaving 129 days left in the year. And again, it just goes to show all throughout history, the same stuff happening. From Joe Biden's birthday to when this happened to Emmett Till, when Joe Biden was born, Joe, Joe Biden was 12 years and nine months old when this happened. 12 years and nine months old when Emmett Till was supposedly lynched. Now, now as an old man is the president, 129 days after his birthday, signing the Emmett Till bill. And again, who are these people really? Were they born and bred to be from their sports to their political office? Uh, again, the beauty of this decode that we just went over is all of this is mostly just the most straightforward cipher. You know, the alphabetic order, which is super intuitive. And again, I mean, you can keep the decodes this simple day after day. This is how all my decodes looked when I first started the work back in 2013 because I only knew these two ciphers, the alphabetic order and the alphabetic order with the rules numerology. And um, again, prime number relationships. Same way we've always taught it, same way it's always come out. And um, it's like that Girl with the Dragon 2, uh, two movie series. One, the, I think the latest film in that series, the little boy whose father's the computer whiz that the bad guys are after uh, eventually they get to the little boy and they say tell us your dad's password and, and 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 the boy says my dad changes letters to numbers and uses prime number relationships i was just like oh my god it's like exactly what we're teaching on the uh, channel day after day but um Again, number games, you guys. And, and don't forget, you can download both of my ebooks for free. They're out there for free. Letters and numbers and number games. You can also buy them. But uh, again, the, the reason I made them free to download is because people got to know this knowledge. We got to know this knowledge because then we got to see. Everybody needs to be seeing at the same time the way we're being mocked and made fun of and the way agendas are being carried out. The sports are the distraction. What goes on in the federal government has real consequences on our lives. And um, and so do the news stories in a lot of regards, like the one that convinced us all to lock up mom and dad's shop and just leave Walmart open and, and give up body autonomy. Again, all, all of this stuff, you know, you see right through it if you have the knowledge. You're like, wait a minute, this doesn't look scientific. This looks ritualistic. And that's what people need to see. The rituals executed every day by the code. And, and again, to answer the same question for the millionth time, which again, you can read on the opening pages of both my books, they do this because it's Kabbalah. Kabbalah says, God created the world with number, numbers, letters, and words. These people are playing God with numbers, letters, and words. And, and again, for all the uh, Simon Dan trolls that are still hanging around, uh, again, instead of just saying, this is so stupid, do you know how dumb you sound? Um, how about like, leave a reason for why it sounds so stupid. <laughs> and, and again, we, we thank you, really, because if you dummies had caught on years ago, we wouldn't be able to pat our pockets with the rig sports the way we still do. So anyway, 
we'll leave it there for now. And until next time, true seeker.